Uh, I'm a student in uh, Python 1 in Women in Tech program, and now I will demo my final project. Um, at first, the project was about doing a tech skill assignment quiz. We should create an interactive quiz application, which will help a women in tech program participate, uh, participate, access their uh, tech knowledge and skills. The quiz will cover a range of tech related topics and provide instant feedback on participants' uh, answers. Uh, at first, I will just show the code which I wrote and do some tests. Um, at first, I wrote a self question ban and uh, I put it inside three categories, which are programming, data analysis, and web development. Uh, I wrote some questions. Uh, at first, I wrote a question, then the option. And I wrote uh, like inside array, and then I wrote the correct answer. Uh, inside each category, I wrote some questions. Uh, and then uh, there is self categories, which will list self question bank keys, which are there. And uh, self par uh, party paint scores, which will storing scores for each participant. And then uh, self uh, participant progress which will uh, storing progress for each participant. And we had self leaderboard, which was uh, which will uh, show our, uh, the scores and progress for each participant. Uh, here, uh, I wrote uh, here, when like participant will take the quiz, at first um, the participant should um, put his or her name there and uh, will take a welcome message and then uh, I like it will be uh, written the categories which they were uh, programming data analysis and web development and the participant should uh, choose which one he or she wanted to take or if he or she put like exit they will just go out then the quiz uh, and here When you like select a category, if it will not uh, a category which from like I uh, uh, which from which I asked you like programming or like data analysis or web development, you should just um, like you'll uh, just continue. And then uh, if your name wasn't uh, exit, they will took like quizzes taken zero and total score zero. And here, um, random dot shuffle this code to just uh, put the question in random way. Like, uh, because when the participant will take the, core, uh, the quiz, they shouldn't know uh, which question will come first. And then uh, their total question, they are, uh, there it will give you the number of uh, like the length like the number of uh, questions and current score will be zero at first and then it will just um will change and here i just did just as an quiz like do you want to add a student name and i put yes then uh, enter a student name. I entered my name and I had a welcome message there. And then I uh, they wrote like the uh, categories and I ch uh, choose the programming one. I had the first question here and here the option. I answered C and it was correct. So it gave me a correct message. And then in the other question, I answered uh, uh, B and it was wrong because the answer was A and it give me that there. Uh, and here, uh, like when I talk about this code, it just was uh, like explain that, like show that. And then for the question and option, we I use this code. Uh, here we will have the question written and then the option and the participant will uh, input 
the answer and uh, I could see a part to like make, make the letter of option like if it was A or B if the practice painter uh, wrote it in like a small letter it will just change to upper to not make mistake uh, and then if it was correct it will give the correct uh, the correct message and the current score will just um, be like uh, it was zero and it will be one now uh, and then uh, here like the quizzes taken time will just change and the total score will change and here else if the question if the answer was wrong it will give me a wrong message and say what was the correct answer and then i will have the message like the quiz quiz completed and uh, you will score in um they will give me like for example in programming like in the category which I choose. And here the current score, which like it will be changed here. And here the total questions, like how many questions we are we have. And then they will uh, ask me again if I wanted to enter name or not. Because if I don't want to enter name, like the same person can take another quiz. But for example, um, at first I put your name and I took as a programming quiz. And then I can take another quiz, just like that analyze a web development. Or I can just enter another student name and this student can took uh, another quiz and they can choose which, which like, quiz they wanted to take. So here, uh, there were another question in programming and they answered to it correctly. So the score was, like we have full three question and score was two from three. And here they ask if I wanted to enter a different name and I put no. And do you want to take another quiz? I yes. So um, they ask me to enter another, um, choose another category and I choose web development. And I answered, I had two questions. I answered one wrong and another correct. So I had my score there. It was one from two, because there are two questions. Here, uh, I have this code to show the progress. And here, I like to update later board. And here, I wanted to show progress because, like, after I uh, enter like all students, uh, all practice paints scores. Uh, I wanted to show, like I wanted to show their progress and their their scores. So here, um, um, they would write like progress for you, for example. And uh, here I will have like. Uh, my score, for example, in programming, and then my score in web development. And then they will just write the total quiz taken, like we took how many time I took, and overall score, score for each student, they will do the same. And here, like update leaderboard, um, at the end, like when all students just enter their um, like their answers, uh, we should list them. And here I will list them in like uh, bas uh, basing, uh, like according their scores in the signing order. Like uh, the student who took the highest score will be at first and then who took um, like a little bit lower than the other student and it will be just like that. Uh, and here, how to like show leaderboard, and it will just uh, wrote the practice paint name, and then the score which the practice paint took. And here there were a function which I wrote, and I will call them here. And while it's true, it will just um, like still uh, I can uh, add another student. And if I don't want it to add, I will just say no and just go out from like the quiz. And here I just add another student, which was Tara. 
and I asked her to choose which category she went, and she said web development, and she did one question wrong, and another one was uh, right. So her score was one from two, and then I add another student, which was Yara, and uh, she chose better analyst category, and then uh, her like she had two questions. The both of them was correct, and she took two from two. Here, uh, the progress for like to like there it just show the leaderboard. And like shows the progress for each student. So he uh, there it's uh mine score in programming and in web development and the total quiz I took and overall score and for each like student like for Tala and Yara and then they just put uh, our name like who took the highest and then like three two one it's just leaderboard there. And like that, I just finished. Thank you for listening. Um.